Hey guys, welcome back to Sneaky Sensei here on YouTube. Okay, so we're doing a let's play of Max Payne part number five now. Yeah, I'm sorry in my last video I said number five or it literally should be number four. So I'm so sorry, but this one's number five, okay guys? So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride, guys, shall we? Okay, so I kind of got in trouble last time I did. It was not my fault. The bar was right around the corner from my apartment. It only took a few minutes to get back. It's a nice place you got here, homie. Thanks for noticing. Why are you living like this? Like what? You know, scratching around, sitting in bars all day? Maybe I just haven't found the right guy to put a bullet through my head yet. I just don't know. I can get you work, Max. Work that only a guy like you can do. <laughs> can you give me work sitting in a bar feeling sorry for myself? Where do I sign up? Saúde. Gesundheit. You were the best guy in the academy. And you won medals on the street. Hey, I lost loved ones on the street. All right? Family. More than once. Yeah, I know. So leave. Start over. You've mourned enough. <sighs> I ain't a cop no more. And this ain't cop work. This is protecting people in places where the cops ain't too hot. <sighs> no thanks, pal. I yeah, just better lay low for a while. You, I want on the roof. You, I want on every doorway. And you guys, I want every fucking corner coming. About that plan. I'm coming after you, you motherfucking murdering bastard. Made a hundred angry grease balls. Who's that? Anthony DeMarco is the father of the kid I just shot. Max Payne. Yeah, that Max looks about right. Payne! You killed my boy! You killed my only son! We gotta get out of here now. Are you not inviting these guys in? When had I ever needed to invite trouble in? It always found me, no matter where I hid. Vamos, man, let's go! Droga! Yeah, but to be honest there, Max, you've mourned a lot, you have. Shit, that was the wrong place. Hey, you fucking dead! Shh, shh, my boy. Don't be afraid of the fires. You think that'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. Uh -huh. The joys of hygiene! Come to me, you sinners, you evil men! You were born in filth and squalor, but today you will be cleansed! Cleansed in fire! No, 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 no. It was hard seeing Brewer go out like that, but I got to thinking, it was what he was waiting for, a chance to make a difference. At least that's what helps me sleep at night. The apartment well, made me wish I'd got to know him better. Oh man. It made for interesting reading. If I'd been given a few more years looking into the bottom of a glass, I might have been on the same page. Damn. Looked like he was keeping an eye on me. Must have thought we were kindred spirits. More and more, I think he was right. Yeah, you think? Damn. Oh, sorry, I saw that. Sorry, guys. No, I mean, but honestly, though, I mean, I, I just feel quite sorry for him in this game because I know he he lost loved ones and everything else, but though there is a chance for him to. 
Captain ba Baseball Bad Boy, no way, are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god! <laughs> the Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy! Oh no, nah, you're still kidding me! Oh my god! Join our hero on a top secret training mission. That's more like it. When, in the blink of an eye, the trickster sussy appears <laughs> and grabs mm -hmm. Bicycle Helmet Girl. Uh, help me, Baseball Bat Boy! <laughs> I'll save you. Base is loaded. Here's the wind up and the pitch. Then, suddenly, the trickster sussy presents his latest yeah. evil trick a devilish aging ray. Oh, no, Triple B. Don't get unnaturally old before your time. Don't worry, Bicycle Helmet Girl. I'll never get old. Oh, Drat, I got old. Hit a grand slam and save me, Triple B. Oh, oh gee willikers. <laughs> How will our hero hit a home run when he can't even run the bases anymore? What will he do next? <sighs> Find out in the next episode of The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Hippos get hungry in the middle of the night. Good thing Hippos Hamburgers is open 24 hours. Try the Hippo Family Pack. Keep those little hippos fat. Oh, God, you freaking kidding me. Oh, my God, you seriously gotta be freaking kidding me. Oh, my Captain Baseball Bat Boy. And yes, I am crying because this just brings back so much great memories, guys. Oh, God. Ah, oh, shit. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. I can't cry just yet, woman. Don't cry just yet. Scramble away from what's left of your life. Dead bodies and a few loose roof tiles. If I thought things through, I may have sat down and let myself burn right there. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm still a bit, bit, bit in a shock because I, I, I'm a really, really big fan of Max Payne, and just watching that, you know, it's just, just, oh god, too many, too many um, emotions came back all at once. And I, I'm sorry, guys. That might sound a bit cliche of me, but though, if you guys knew how much I love Max Payne. You know, you would seriously understand. Oh crap. Hang on. Oh man. Thank you. Oh fuck! I did not see him, guys. Okay, I did not see that guy. Okay, so no one can can criticize me. Well, actually, you can. Comment section below is the area. Love you guys. And also, guys, I should say to you, though, yeah, you know, should we, we should all respect our elders. Seriously, because what that, what that idiot was saying back then, the bar, you know, he had no rights and no uh, respect for any any of them. And though, to be honest, though, that's that's why how much I encourage all my friends to respect your elders and to remember, you know, you know who's who's wiser and who's not so wiser in this world. OK, guys, so just just bear with bear that in mind. OK, love you guys. Okay, cool. Okay. 
gunfire over Hoboken. It felt strange to be at the center of it again. The target, that is. Like an old comedian hearing one last round of applause. Yeah, don't know about Max. No, but honestly though, guys, we should we should always respect our elders, okay? And though, um... Damn it. Right on the Pulaski, pal. Don't look down. Alright guys, let's look alive. We're gonna get this prick. <clears throat> Come on, wanna hear some motivation? Let's go. Hey, what was that? What was what? I heard something. Up there! Up where? Up there! What you bitching? <laughs> oh, there he is! Shoot him! Damn it! Alright, fine then. We'll do this way then, shall we? Wow. Help there, brother. I need his help. Five minutes ago. You looked like you were doing fine. Yeah, well, it doesn't feel that way. Well, you ain't lost it. Hey, it looks like there might be a way down through the wreck up here. Hey, up to you, man. There were wrecks all around, and not the kind you fix up for a weekend project. These were the wrecks you crossed the road to avoid. Fair enough, Max. They don't need to second guess us when they're covering all the angles. You're not the only one. Look who's talking. Don't be a pussy. Dang flab it. You ain't getting out of here. That's it, asshole. You stick to the head. Ooh, that's on the mouth. Ouch. Thanks. Could always do that. Oh, there he is. Dan's in there. Fancy seeing you here. Oh, crap. Oh, okay, just need to reload. Cool, got it. Hey, hey, hang on, hang on. I'm obsessed with ammo. Okay, guys, I am really, really, I'm obsessed with ammo. Scotch and pills. What could possibly go wrong? A lot. Come on. These chumps have been chopping up cars around the corner from my apartment for the last year. The ex-cop and me clocked it months ago, but the deadbeat and me didn't give a shit. What the fuck? Oh, so basically stolen vehicles, how nice. Best time to to reload, Max. Or it might be the best time, actually. 
So long to you too. I'm fine with the leather. This don't show the blood so much. Oh, dang, Flabber, you've been kidding me. How's this look? After you? Can I, can I, have I, have I got? Oh, chips, Paso. Ah, dead end. But you knew your way around these parts. Let's just get over there. Yeah. Think you need a hand? No, do you? Let's go, Amigo. You like that? <laughs> Should be a bit quieter in here. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I can see why you'd want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. <laughs> Isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Queens? Uh... You want a job yet, Max? up the Tiete River, looking for what we did not know. Max, you listening? Max! So like I was saying, I think they're a group called the Krashapret. Why did you tell me they were called the CS? They are. I mean, Fabiana, she was kidnapped by the CS. The guys that crashed our little party at the stadium, they were a group of paramilitaries. You'll have to forgive me for not being able to follow all this. I'm not supposed to follow it. The government can't even follow it. It ensures that no one's ever guilty. So why'd they do it? Bust us at the stadium. Yeah, somebody told them we were going to be there with a whole lot of money. Anyway, the money's gone. I just hope we can get the girl back. Yeah, me too. I wonder where the hell she is. You know there's a harbor about a half a mile up? It's gotta be there. This is a known Commando Sombra area. You know, if I've been doing my job properly, we wouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere looking for some broad who got pinched on my watch. That's what we tell ourselves, huh? It's all our fault. No, I'm serious. By the time they grabbed the girls, I was half cut. I ain't slipping, man. I'm slipped. I'm a bad joke. Max. Work private security. We're all ex soldiers, ex special forces, ex cops, ex good guys. We all have our reasons why we became ex. Maybe now we can put things right, okay? So that was it, was it? Say the magic word and be absolved of your sins. If only shit were that simple, I'd have done it years ago. Me, I'd been stuck in the past so long, I'd forgotten what year it was. Hey, Max, you quit your daydreaming. This is it. It's over there. Cut the engine. Glide in. Don't go anywhere.
Okay then, guys, and I'm really am sorry, though, but I'm gonna save that for for the next episode. Um, can I just take a minute and say something? Actually, if you guys know um a person who's older than you is going for the same scenario as Max is, please, you know, don't be a douche, don't be an idiot, don't be a stupid prat. Just you know, just just talk to him. You know, just try to help him out because back there, what I saw with Max was that is this way he touched me because. All his um, when he said that um um I I won medals on the streets and I I I lost what loved ones on the streets as well. It just kind of hit me so much because as a founder of Max Payne, I understand his pain and everything, and I encourage all my uh, friends and family and even my audience or fans to do good deeds in life, guys. Don't okay, just help someone out. Be uh be um an open heart uh, sorry, be an open minded person and please give give the best support of, if if you can guys okay so on that note that I'm gonna end it there so thank you very much for watching if you guys do like it please you know the routine why not follow me on Twitter at sneaky sensei one and the same on Facebook sneaky sensei and until next time my lovely dear viewers I'll see you guys in the next episode take care bye guys love ya bye guys.